So guys, welcome back. So now here, I'll tell you guys, in previous session, I've already covered a topic called Dunk of Family. Right? I'll tell you guys, very simple topic. Very easy. But when the people ask questions during interview, there are multiple people, right, unable to respond. Because everybody knows the basics and all. Anyway, so in that like multiple session I have given, okay, okay. There was a thing guys, I told you guys uh, in the previous session that even we can apply a blog at terms of payment level also, right? We can apply a blog here and the impact you can see why mistake if somebody is using that terms of payment and if somebody has posted the invoice, then what is happening, guys? That invoice is going to be blocked for payment, right? Okay, now I'll just do one thing. So here, just go to OB, OB V8, right? Now I just use TM30 that I have already created. TM30 is there or not? It's not there. So click on this one. TM30 and your payment in 30 days, right? Posting date. Okay, and here. Just save it. Perfect. So now go to. So here, if. And here, what is happening, guys? Apply your block key here. Save it. Now, so where is the mistake? I'll tell you. There was a query here, right? So click on payment terms first and make it EM30. Okay. Now, so when you post the invoice, guys, let me come back. When you post the invoice, what's up any amount? Okay, let's suppose thousand five. 1500 press enter everything is fine if you click here look at here block for payment right you can save it okay no item category for 4000 tm30 just now just now because just few minutes back i posted a transaction successfully so just now somebody has activated document explaining related settings right there is a logic behind this error guys later i'll explain There'll be a unique, uh, what do you say, explanations on this document splitting and all, right? So there I'll explain what is the logic behind, what is the root cause behind this error, why it appears. But before that, right now, again, that will, that topic will be covered later because before that, multiple important topics are there that I have to explain. So right now, what you have to do, go to SPRO and here, you just do one thing. So here we are having document splitting. Where it is? Business transactions. Document splitting. So look at here activation. Even deactivation for company code is there, but here I think you face some issues. Let me check it. Whether I'm able to. No. Okay, it's okay. Uh, instead of making experiment, you just come back here and you remove the check mark from here itself. Okay. Now, in details, I'll explain this one. Not now, later. Okay, so here, come back. Basically, okay. And if you click on payment, so look at here. Now, the block, it is block for payment, right? So there is a query that so invoice is like sometime it is getting blocked and sometime it is not getting blocked. Okay, sometime it is getting blocked, sometime it is not. In the sense, block key is not able to. Every time I'm not getting this one. And even when I like use it like it is blocked for payment. But when I made the payment, right? When I make the payment, then system is allowing for the payments and all. So I'll tell you guys if you save it, right? Like, look at here. 1075. Definitely, he is trying to post manual payment. Okay, so in manual payment, what happened? 
1990-2025. In manual payment, what happened, guys? Now, this is our bank chill an amount, let's suppose, 1500 only. Give the vendor number, press enter. So, you have to this 1500, right? If you simulate, everything is fine. And if you save it, it got posted, right? So I'll tell you guys, so manual payment means, of course, even though the invoice is blocked, right? Even a block is applied over there. In manual payment, generally what happens, it is allowed. Why? Because there is another restrictions also. Another restrictions means, let me open one more screen. Go to OB27 and here, this is A, right? So manual payment block block you have to apply a check mark here okay manual payment block right save it then what is happening now now what happened guys now look at here just post another invoice World Cup now what will happen guys here because it worked out invoice Again, what is happening, guys? Since we are using TM30, so block key will appear payment block. Save it. Now, this time, what happened, guys? This time, F dash 53. Once again, you have to refresh this so that the recent changes will be considered by not 1500. It is recorded. Vendor, press enter. Look at here. Now, 950 is only highlighted. Okay, here, 50 TDS was deducted, right? This 2000 is not highlighted at all. If you double click here, then what happened, guys? Look at here, amount we have entered 2000, but system has assigned zero. Why? Because this 2000 is having, we are having a block key, isn't it? So what happened? You can post a payment only if you go to L1 and if you remove this block, right? This 2000, if you remove the block from here, then you can be able to post it, save it. And then what happened? Come back once again, F-53, then you will be able to post it. So till here, there is no problem, guys. So what happened? Look at here, this 2000 is also activated. You can post it. So, this is the solution here, right? Now, in the sense, query was there. So, invoice got blocked, right? But still, when I make the payment, right? So, in APP, of course, it is going to be, right? We are having two kinds of payments APP and manual. So, in manual, what is happening? System is not, uh, system, uh, you know, is allowing to make the payment. So guys, we are having control in OB27. We have to apply a check mark over there. So manual payment is also, in manual payment also, if you want to apply it, okay, you can apply a check mark over there. System is going to allow. Now, uh, one more thing. He said, like, sometime what happened? Sometime, okay. So sometime what happened? This block key appears, sometime it doesn't appear, right? So I'll tell you guys, in which case it doesn't appear. No. So, if you're having multiple vendor, in one vendor TM30 have assigned, right? In other vendors, you have used, let's suppose, different payment terms. So, say for example, different payment terms means triple zero one, right? Now, what happened? So, here, once again, go to FB60. Give an amount for the project 500. Account, project 500. This time, what happened? The payment terms which copied from vendor is 0001. That is standard. It's okay. Now, I want to replace it by TM30. 0001 was free for payment. If I press enter, enter, then what is happening? System has given you a notification here that it is a block key is applied. But what is happening, guys? Look at here. That block key is not transferred here. 
right? And if you save it, then it got posted even though TM30, we have applied a block key, but that block key is not transferred here. If you check, refresh, 2500, double click. Look at here, payment block is not there. It is free for payment. It is free for payment. So that was the question. Even though we have applied a block, a key over there at payment terms level but still at the time of using this payment terms what is happening guys system in the sense block key is not able to it's not appearing here right so i'll tell you guys it will appear only when you assign this payment terms let's suppose to the vendor master from vendor master if it is going to be if the system derives this payment terms from vendor master then system is going to derive this block key also but when let's suppose if you are trying to replace a payment terms with the, this TM30, at that point of time, what is happening, guys? System will consider all the conditions, but this block is not being considered by system, right? So for that, SAP has given one additional setting. Very less people knows, guys. Very less, almost like maybe 1%, 0.1%, right? Look at here. There is a checkbox, right? So what is the use of this one, guys? Okay, the checkbox means. If you apply a check mark, then what happened? This block key will transfer at the time of even modifications also. In the sense, at the time of posting invoice, let's suppose, if you are going to replace any payment terms with this TM30, then what happened, guys? Then the block key will be transferred. Okay. That is why, if you see here, if you press F1 button, the name itself says transfer block. Transfer block means transfer payment block when changing the payment terms right in the sense what happened if you apply a check mark here and save it so now what is happening in earlier in the previous case when you change the payment terms the block key was not you know getting transferred from payment terms but right now what will happen guys right now if you this is already explained in the uh, terms of payment session but still you better have to just, just let me complete it. Let me complete it here. Let me complete it. Version once again. Okay. Now look at okay here. Tm condition. Press enter. Enter. Now block for payment. So block is going to be transferred here. Now if this invoice is going, let's suppose if you have posted this invoice, then what happened? Now here it is. It means if you go for payment here, now you go to your desk and you do 2500, right? So now since the block key is already transferred, so what happened? Look at here. Which one I have posted, guys? 2000 or 2500? Just now I have posted 2500 or 2000. It's 2000 only. So 2000 is already blocked. Look at here. So that is why, uh, where it is. 2000 is blocked. Why? Because it is deactivated. Right? So 2000 is blocked. It is deactivated. But this one is activated. Why? Because at that point of time, I was not applied a check mark on transfer block. So this is what the logic, guys. Whenever, if, if you are going to edit the payment terms, then what is happening, guys? This check mark must be applied. If you apply a check mark here, this one, then what happened? Even if you edit the payment terms, like let's suppose a different payment terms replaced by TM30. In that case, what happened, guys? This block key also will be transferred. Okay. Or else at the time of edit, it won't transfer. But if you assign this payment terms in any vendor master and against that vendor, if you post the invoice, then what happened? Automatically, the block will be transferred whether you apply a check mark here or not. That doesn't matter. But generally what happened at the time of invoice posting, we are trying to change the payment terms. And at that point of time, if you are expecting that this block key must appear. So for that, you must have to apply a check mark. So this is what the logic guys. That's what I just wanted to explain.